we're going to look at how do you create a parts list in Fusion 360. Uh, to start with, we're going to use a Exploded View. If you don't know how to do that, go back to the previous tutorial on how to create Exploded Views. You don't necessarily need to use an Exploded View for a parts list, but I think it just helps with labeling uh, parts and demonstrating you know, what they are, where they go, and things such as that. So Exploded View, and from this animation menu or the design menu, whichever one you're in, uh, we're going to go to Drawing. And instead of design, which we quite commonly use, we're going to choose animation because we want to use design that is in the animation menu. So I'm going to click there. Now we've got this little box that's opened. It's asking us, uh, do you want this A3, A4, etc.? Yes, we want it in millimeters. A3, I probably use more than anything, but for this one, because it's quite a small product and it's just the parts list, we're not dimensioning anything, so we need a little bit less space. I'm going to choose the A4 one. So I'm going to choose A4. And click OK. So this is A4 portrait. This might take a minute or so to load because it's opening a whole new uh, screen and transferring all the information across. Uh, once it's done that, we're going to choose a position for this. So the base view is basically where do you want it. Uh, let's quickly look at this scale. So one to two. I wonder if we can get away with one to one on here. Not quite. OK, let's go back to one to two. So this is where you would change the scale. Uh, one to two. A little small, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to choose the base view of just being maybe there at the top, somewhere, somewhere in the middle. Um, and then over here in this uh, menu window, you can choose do you want this this visible edge, which is like a, a, a basic outline? Do you want to, be able to see the construction and hidden lines inside, or do you want to be a quick render? I think for this one, let's just choose the outline and we'll click OK. Now we've got this drawing, it's an outline, we can click on there. And move that if you want. I'm going to move that over just slightly to the center. Okay, so we've got our exploded view on there. We've got our actual parts. Now we want to put in this part list. Something that's really important is that to do this, you need to have worked A in separate components, but also B, you need to have told these components um, what they are. So by right clicking on them, you can select physical material and drag and drop different materials on them. Uh, that's also in, in previous uh, tutorials, but you need to have done that and made each component aware of what the physical material is if you want that to be included in your parts. It's the same for if you want any names or a description. If you right click on each component and you can change select properties and you can change the name, the number, and you can add descriptions in there. They will also be populated on the uh, parts list table. If you want them to, but you have to put that in there right at the start. So it's a good habit to get into it. Every time you create a component, a new part, you go into properties, give it a name, type in a description if you need to, give it a number if you need to, and then add the physical material. If you do that for every one as you're going, when you get to the end, it's not such a task or a chore. Okay, let's assume you've all done that. Now, table, easy peasy. You just literally click this uh, icon at the top that says table, choose where you want it on your uh, page. And then what I'm going to do is just double click on here uh, and we can change some of the settings on this table. So I prefer the headings to go down rather than up. I don't want the part number, but I do want the part name. And in this instance, oh, I will keep the description on actually. Okay, so let's say uh, close. So now we've got this uh, parts list here. Let's draw the materials on there. I'm just going to edit this slide. So now let's just zoom out a little bit. So you can see what this has done is it's put in there um, each component, each part name. It's included the material because I told it so. Uh, and the description, there's only one in there, but maybe you've got something that's more complicated, more than four or five parts, and you need to explain some of those descriptions. You, you edit that in the properties for the component, and maybe you can put that it's a, a standard part or fixing or something like that or there's something that you need to mention maybe there's two or three of them so you've done that you put your, your parts list in there easy peasy the last thing that i like to do on these is down here i always remove my name but just put my initials instead i think that's good practice if it's um, school work uh the date i'll remove that so i'll just remove it press space and then enter 
we can give this a title down here. So let's call this the parts list technical reference. Do you want to mention the scale there? So that was a scale. Oh, that was scale one to two, if you remember from the start. Okay. And you can add other things in there if you want to in those editable text boxes. Once you're done, you just press finish. Okay, let's zoom out. So for this one, we've got our exploded view. We've got a list of all the parts by name, parts by material. We've got the quantity in there. Uh, and again, if there's any more information that you want to put into this parts list, such as the descriptions, you do that as and when you're editing or creating each component, right click on them uh, and then change the, the properties and, and physical materials. You change that there. That's not the material you choose in the render menu. That's different. That's just appearance, what it looks like, not what it actually is. Okay. And that's how you do that. And the next step really is to save it. And if you want to export it, just click on export or click open PDF if you want to. On this instance, we won't. Just click OK, uh, and that will export a PDF version. Uh, give it a title, um, and then what you can do is add a screenshot, maybe, or a, a, an image of the exported file into your portfolio as your your parts list.